Dr. Baraza, can you answer that? Thank you, Honorable um, Deputy Speaker, for the question. For the uh, primary gaps and challenges, my approach is a consultative approach. I believe that it is critical that we bring all stakeholders together. The Director General as well, the, the PSS, the National Technical Working Group, stake, stakeholders as well as other sectors including Treasury. We also need to involve the community. It is imperative that the community is informed and they, that they are aware and they own the, the, the SHI. Without the community owning it, implementation will be difficult. And so we need to strengthen communication, receive feedback, and analyze. In the consultative process, we need to conduct a situational analysis to see the strengths, the weaknesses, opportunities, and threats for the implementation of the SHI and come up with priority actions to intervene and support in a seamless um, way. So as I had as said earlier, community ownership is critical. Equally, we need um, to strengthen the operations and the logistics. Um, if we don't have um, enough financing for the SHI, then the implementation will not be seamless. Equally, we need to address the logistics uh, challenges that may arise during that. One of the challenges that I have seen uh, 